what is our next important thing that you need to know that keeps coming in the exam again and again? Can anyone tell me what is this? Yes. So, this is nothing but Malampati grade. Now, Malampati comes very, very often in the exam and they say that there are four Malampati classifications, but actually there are five Malampati classifications. Can you guys tell me other than one, two, three, four, what is the Malampati classification? Yes. So, there is also a Malampati class zero. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me what is Malampati classification used for? It is used for airway examination. That is absolutely correct. But it is used to identify a anticipated difficult airway. Okay. So, you are looking at the oral structures to be able to anticipate a difficult airway. Now, when we talk about difficult airway, it means it could be difficult mask ventilation, difficult intubation or it could be difficult front of neck access also. Okay. Now, in Malampati classification, the second question that they ask is, how do you perform Malampati test? Okay. So, what you do is, you make the person sit in front of you and, yeah. So, you make the person sit in, sit in front of you. At your eye level should be his mouth level. Okay. So, if you are, your eye level is over here. So, the patient will be a little bit on a height so that his mouth comes over here. Then you ask the patient to open his mouth without making a sound like this. Okay, so you it should not be ah. So in sometimes in some questions they ask this stupid thing. Okay, ki uh, the patient should not phonate while opening his mouth. Phonate, p h o n a t. Okay, and then you look at the structures of the back of the mouth. So in Malambati class zero, what all do you see? In Malampati class 0, you will see all that you see in class 1 plus the epiglottis also. This is the easiest airway. As we go towards Malampati class 4, this becomes difficult airway. This becomes difficult airway. Okay. So, now let's have a look at what are the structures that we see in Malampati class 1. You can see the entire uvula. You can see the tonsillar pillars. You can see the soft palate and you can see the hard palate. Okay. Now, when I talk about the entire uvula, then we are talking about the tip of the uvula as well as the base of the uvula. All right. So, all these structures can be seen in Malampati class 1. When we come to Malampati class 2, in Malampati class 2, I'll tell you what is not seen. Okay. So, this tip of the uvula is not seen. Can you see the tip of the uvula is obscured? And the tonsillar pillars cannot be seen over here. So, when you remember, you try to remember as what is not seen in Malampati class 2. So, you can't see the tonsillar pillars and you can't see the tip of the uvula. What you can see is the base of the uvula, soft palate, hard palate. So, here, this is the base of the uvula. You can see the soft palate, you can see the hard palate. In Malampati class 3, we see SP plus HP. What is SP plus HP? We see the soft palate and we see the hard palate. Can you see the uvula, tip or base? No. Okay. Then in Malampati class 4, what do you see? In Malampati class 4, you see only hard palate. Only hard palate. So in Malampati class 4, we see only the hard palate. So if they ask you in the exam, which of these are a difficult airway or which of these is an anticipated difficult airway? Malampati class 0, 1, 2 or 4. What is your answer? Yes. So Malampati class 3 and 4 becomes difficult airway. And out of these also, if you have to choose one option, then obviously it will be Malampati class 4. Okay. All right. Now, can anyone identify what is this test? I think this can come in the upcoming exams because this is also one of the tests that you should be knowing about airway examination and anesthesia. Okay, so this test, when do you see it? Can this test be seen in the OPD? On OPD basis, when you're doing pre-op evaluation, can you see this test? This is called as cormac lehan grading. Okay, so cormac lehan grading is seen only during intubation. This is seen during intubation. Now, what happens in cormac lehan grading is when I am intubating, I do laryngoscopy and I try to look at the vocal cords. So, what is the view that I am getting? The view that I am getting over here is I can see the entire epiglottis. 
I can see the arytenoids. I can see the entire length of the vocal cords. I can see the aryepiglottic folds. Now, most important thing in this is I can see the entire length of the vocal cords. Can I easily pass an endotracheal tube over here? So, yes, I can easily pass an endotracheal tube from here. So, this is CL grade 1. We call it as CL grade 1. Okay. Now, what happens in CL grade 2? In CL grade 2, epiglottis is seen, arytenoids is seen, aryepiglottic folds are also seen. However, I see only posterior one-third of the vocal cords. So, I am writing it over here. Only posterior one-third of vocal cords is seen. Then, when I look at grade 3, in grade 3, I can see only the epiglottis and the arytenoids. So, no part of vocal cords is seen in grade 3. And when I go to grade 4, I can see no part of the larynx. I cannot see the epiglottis. I cannot see the arytenoids. I cannot see the vocal cords. No part of the larynx is seen. So, in this situation, as an anesthetist, I will panic the most because I am not able to see a single structure of the larynx. So, this is called as CL grade 4. Okay. So, we start from CL grade 1, which is very easy intubation. You can see the entire length of the vocal cords and we end up going to CL grade 4 where we can see no part of the larynx. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay.